Uh, this is 2022 KCSE Mathematics Paper 2, question number 6. Two parallel cores AB is equal to uh, 4 cm and CD is equal to 10 cm. Lies on opposite side of, uh, cent of a circle center O uh, of a circle. The perpendicular distance between the two cords is 7 cm. Calculate the radius of the circle leaving the answer in third form. You get three marks. Uh, now, we use this information. We can sketch this using this uh, information given. We can make a sketch of a circle and be able to see uh, exactly what we need to calculate. So we can say that is our chord uh, and this, this is a center and this is uh, another chord uh, and they are parallel. So this is 10 centimeter, uh, this is uh, 4 centimeter, this is AB, and this is CD. All right. So we are also given the perpendicular distance is 7 centimeter, 7 centimeter. So with that, we are required to find the radius. Uh, the radius of a circle using, let's say this is, uh, from the center that's a radius we also the, this is also a radius of the circle uh, what we do here is uh, so this means that this is 5 this the perpendicular di the, the perpendicular distance 7 centimeter it means forms an angle of uh, because the two two chords are parallel they form an angle of 90 so this becomes that's the center of the circle this becomes a right angle triangle and this is 5 centimeter and this is 2 and this is 2 now with the length here 7 uh, what about if we say this is x then this becomes 7 minus x uh, using this information we will be able to find r 1 we start with this one uh, since this is a right angle triangle using the Pythagoras theorem uh, the radius is equals to uh, r squared r is equals to the square root of uh, 2 squared uh, plus 7 minus x squared that is using the uh, the Pythagoras theorem that is r squared is equals to 2 squared uh, uh, plus 7 minus x that is a Pythagoras theorem. So you get the square root for both sides. That is how we are ending with that. All right. So uh, from there, we also say R is equals to. Now we use this other triangle. R is equals to the square root of uh, five squared uh, plus x squared. So that is also using the Pythagoras theorem because uh, the the, tri the triangle here is a, a right angle triangle so because we are referring to the same radius we can equate these two expression and say uh, the square root of 2 squared plus 7 minus x squared is equals to the square root of 5 squared plus x squared uh, so we get the square root for both sides we square both sides rather like this we square when you square then you get rid of the uh, square root sign here for both sides uh, 2 squared is the same as 4 when you open the this bracket this uh, 7 minus x squared you get 49 uh, this is uh, 7 multiplied by 7 x is 7 uh, minus that is twice 14 x uh, plus x squared is equals to now here we will be left with x squared plus 25 uh, so we bring everything to this side uh, we can add 49 to, to 4 and 49 that will give us 53 uh, minus uh, 14 x plus x squared when x squared crosses the, the equal sign becomes a negative x squared and 25 becomes 20 negative 25 is equal to zero because we have taken everything to the left hand side now x squared minus x squared is zero 
Uh, so we have 53 minus 25. We can say 53 minus 25. That will give us 828. So we have 28 minus 14x is equal to 0. Uh, so we take 14 to the other side. We have 14x becomes positive is equal to 28. And then divide both sides by 14. And you get uh, 14 then x is equals to, to 2. So we now have x is equals to 2. Uh, so if x is equals to 2, and we already have, uh, and we are required to find the radius, then r is equals to, we substitute here, the square root of 5 squared is 25, uh, plus x is 2, x squared, so that becomes 4. So r is equals to the square root of 29. So the radius of the circle is uh, the square root of 29. And you can leave it like that. You get, you'll be able to score three marks. So that's how you do that question uh, very comfortably.